stuffing or, or hunting, then you've got to real, move real slow. As I say, we've got the Whitbird over here. There's a few deer tracks. Just got to just be careful, snakes. There's old ear tracks here, just in here. I'm running two hundred F eight. 5.6, I'll go up to 400, 400, it's not bad. This time of year, you're always looking on the ground because of snakes. But just in the back here, you can hear the whipper before. There's a grey thrike, cuckoo thrush. Yeah, wattle birds are attacking. Yeah. We'll just see how this auto focuses, auto tracking on the uh, Z9 is going on. If you get the chance and you're on the deer, sometimes it's just better to sit down and just wait. Not doing too many body movements, minimising your noise. Yeah. Yeah, I'm impressed with this um, road go-to with transmitter with the automatic automatic back backup on um, audio recordings, which is great. So um, then all I've got to do is in post process just sync it in. It um, had a lot of wind the last couple of days. So yeah, the last few weeks have been going up. Uh, managed to film. A uh, few stag. Just listen, yeah. Kookaburra. Kingfishers over there, and we've been waiting in this particular area for an azura to turn up, but not at this point. Minimise your voice. If you're with someone, oh, like as I said, voice, voice. I do remember back, oh yeah, 25 years ago. Uh, two guys and they had their kids with them. You could hear them a mile away and I was filming a stag. And they pricked it, the hinds and the stag pricked his ear up and they are out of here. Yeah, an ant. Bees are out, oh geez, it stinks. Piss ant. But anyhow, what I'll do, I'll just, um, I'm gonna go around, and I've seen a nice black snake, I'm gonna try and use the Z9 to auto track him. Um, trying to keep minimum, I'll, I'll use the um, 70 to 200 millimetre lens. I had the 500, it was too close. Um, I was running out of focal length. But um, as I said with photography, the most important thing is light and getting the, the correct light for the exposure and so you can get detail. And you, you don't get it perfect all the time, but when you do, there's a few maggies and there's a whistling kite just over there on, yeah. Just heard the king hit one little chirp. But anyhow, what I'll do, I'll just, um, gonna walk out of here. I'm gonna go around there, but I've just gotta be careful of snakes. Black snakes and copperheads here. And I've seen the odd tiger further up. There's a bit of sandy loam, they like the sandy loam. Anyhow, we'll see how we go. Watching your feet here, is, see we've had a lot of storms, trees down, everything. Tiger snake.
Not a big one, but it's bloody enough venom to kill me. Um, I don't want to walk through all that shit I've walked through. Very big, but a bloody crazy little bugger. To that tiger snake, crazy little bugger. Oh, maybe two, not a, maybe a meter and a bit. You see the bands on him, and I just filmed another snake, a copperhead. Just lousy with snakes in this joint. Um, 
isso aí, me isso aí, me isso Put enough in him and you kill your knee and put that way. I knew quick. It was, it was actually hissing, you could hear it hissing. But I had to walk that way, I had no other way. There was long grass either side and I didn't want to go that. If it was that snake, there were probably more. Anyhow, we'll see what happens. place lousy with them. It's good for birding and that. But um and a few deer in here too, so yeah, look at him. See if he wants to go down for a drink. Look at him here. Hissing and carrying on. I don't know where you'll hear it on the... Look at that, listen. Going as a stick. <laughs> <laughs> 